Today I'm going to explain the relationship between arm length and arm wrestling style. Hey guys, it's Kel from OmnipotentGrow.com. So nice to see you again in one of my videos. So I want to share my gratitude of having so many questions uh, that I probably need months to answer. Uh, I will do my best to give uh, videos with uh, exact explanations of the questions that you have. The Omnipotent Growth community. So I started to do more videos about arm wrestling. So people are now asking what happened to the self-development niche. I will try and make uh, as much as I can of those two. So be patient. The question I, I want to answer today is from Miriam. She asks, is hook not a good idea for a person with long arms? I just want to use that question and uh, combine it in uh, one wholesome answer about arm length and uh, the dependencies between styles and strengths. And the general idea is uh, that uh, the obvious thing is long arm, top roll, uh, short arm, hook. This is very basic approach of looking at stuff so we have to think a little bit deeper, we have to think about our uh, physiology, about the biology of the arms, uh, but um, let me show you a few examples of arm pullers that are defying the status quo. Arsene Lilief, he is notorious about uh, getting caught with uh, juice and stuff, but um, let's face it, he was one of the best top rollers in the world and uh, he had a very small palm and a very short arm. Not very short, but uh, at least short arm. Well, what he had in his advantage though, was a very huge drive of biceps power combined with a very explosive rotation hit. So the idea is that uh, this style allows your arm and palm to be small, because you're not uh, depending on uh, going through the top roll, you're not dependent of the flex of your wrist, but you're going all sideways using the momentum and using your powers in general of uh, your outer game. So if you apply top roll that way and you have strengths in that direction, you probably could be effective even with short arm and small palm. Another example, a good player, hook puller with very long arm is uh, Kevin Bongard. He was very famous uh, in the near past. Um, I also can say pullers like Getalo, even Pushkar. He's not uh, a hook player in general. He's a side pressure monster. And also this is the main idea I want to share with you. So when you have a long arm, it's uh, natural that you don't go into the deep hook. You, you don't go diving in for the hook like uh, Todd Hutchings, for example, or doing a drag hook like uh, Rustam Babaev. You want to hit very strong to the side and uh, in that way you want to push out the other puller out of balance and when you go into your type of hook, so it's more side pressure oriented, when you manage to do your wrist curl with side pressure and go into the hook, uh, your opponent is in disadvantage and now you can uh, apply less force with better angle. The idea is that you need less to finish the game. So I would suggest that uh, if you are with long arm and training uh, hook pulling, concentrate maybe 70% of your starting game, of your going side sideways and uh, maybe a little bit of press with the side pressure so you can put out your opponent out of balance and you can apply maximum force and uh, use the maximum of your vector. Of course you want to build uh, also some isometric strength because uh, uh, this advantage will let you hold up more and uh, the other puller probably will have to go outside of the path to pin you. Another look at things is uh, that when you are with long arm, maybe you have longer fingers, bigger palm, so it's easier for you to go into inside to the hook and you have a bigger contacting point with your fingers and palm. In that way, you are able to go with less force around your opponent. So guys, I hope this helps. Subscribe to the channel and see you again soon.